So looking at the world real quick, because um, some people watching what would want to know your opinions. Who are some of the people you you would pick? And let's run through a couple of the weight classes that you're watching. Okay, and this is ahead of time for everybody who's watching. So one of the one of the biggest, um, the Battle of the 105s, and you could maybe pull up Matt the uh, yeah. we'll run through. But let's start. I think the biggest battle that I'm excited about, and I'll ask you guys which one you guys are excited about. 105. Okay, 105s. 105s, Danielle, for the men's 105. Is that the biggest battle you see? Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so who are you guys picking? I, I got, you guys go first. I got Mr. Deadlift on this one. Oh, our Polish friend. And I noticed you, you avoided saying his last name, sir. <laughs> Where's Vicky? There it is. Good, close enough. And hey, who are you thinking, Danielle? You got a, you yeah. got a favorite? Say it? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, I mean, shit. Here's the thing, okay? Um, Garrett? Is is a beast. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and I mean, he's well, been training like he's an absolute beast. Yeah. Obviously, Bryce. It's it, the one hundred five. What makes it so interesting? Correct me if I'm wrong. We have four cats who've all exchanged the world record. Yeah. Within the past like twelve months or sixteen months. No. Yeah. Over, the, over the past year and a half, the record has been taken and rebroken four or five times by all these cats, and they're all, all ex yeah. so they're all oh, capable. There's and Eli Burks. Eli Burks broke it once, but he's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. And Bryce from Canada, if we could throw out our Canadian boy, he's super duper good too, but he's not going. So between those four cats, though, it's very rare you have the world record broken yeah. by all of them. And any one of them, given, like, you know how powerlifting is, man. You fall behind you're by one yeah. lift, and you yeah. now all of a sudden you're like, do I retake that lift, or do I keep trying? You miss one lift when it's, when it's that tight. That could be yeah. it. That could be a one wrong move. Anyways, I, uh, what's up? No, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be really close, but I think I think Kristoff has has a huge advantage right here because I think that you know with with Bryce Blevins and and Stephen Manuel, their money maker is their squat, so they have the pressure's on from the out of the gate, right? So they have to all all of them have to nail a really really solid squat on their third attempt. Whereas at this point, you know, Kristoff can Kristoff squat is right up there with them. It's not like Kristoff squat is weak. Mm -hmm. Right, so his squat's right up there with them, but he can kind of sit back and hit, you know, maybe not be as, you know, the, it might not be as high pressure situation. He can hit a hard, but you know, at least a comfortable third. And then it's it's their time. It's the it's Blevins's and Bryce's and and Stephen Manuel's time to make the mistakes on the first three or the first six lifts. And then it's you know Kristoff's time to take over and, when, when they get to deadlifts. And that's the advantage of being a huge. And when we talk big deadlift, this guy is. Like the biggest of the yeah. big. This dude <laughs> might conceivably out deadlift Ray Williams. He might have the biggest deadlift of the whole competition. And you're, yeah. you're, you have out deadlifted Ray Williams. Has he already? He's pulled. He's pulled yeah. uh, 400 kilos in competition. Oh no shit! So so there you go. So in terms of like everyone else has got to go balls out um, on the squat yeah. and the bench. Yeah. He can be a little bit reserved. I know I can <laughs> hit this. I'll hit this. I'll hit that, and I'll just chip <laughs> it in with the deadlift. So look, I'm not avoiding giving my pick, but I want to hear you you first. You're gonna follow the trend, or you're gonna go against? What are you saying, man? You know, I I always like the the subtotal guys. They're always kind of fun. I'm a subtotal guy. Okay. I like Garrett. He's got his big bench. So See, Garrett's got that's oh, yeah. one thing we'll say. They all got a squat, and yeah. I was gonna say, but Garrett's bench is yeah. a beast too. It's great. His subtotal can. You could push it beyond the means where it's yeah. like, okay, let's see if you could out deadlift this. Yeah. Like, if you make it too big of a gap. No. Exactly. What are you saying, Randy, behind the camera? I go with him. Same thing. Who? Oh, this is not the subtotal guy, by the way. But who, who are you saying? Who? Go with him. I'm going with the deadlift. Oh, really? Yeah. No shit. Oh, for all the same reasons? For all the same reasons. I think when it comes down to it, he's just going to pull. And yeah. I think no matter what it is, he's going to pull for the win. He'll go for the win. No oh, he's going what. for the win. No, this cat's going he, for the win. No matter what, what it is, no matter what happens on his first and second, he's going to pull for the win. On Chris, Chris Stuff is that dude. He's never going to be like, well, silver's not bad. Maybe I'll pull for silver. <laughs> no, man. He, if it's between gold and coming in fifth and he's got to go Hail Mary, you know which way he's swinging. Oh, yeah. Right? He's swinging for those guys yeah. for that home run. I'll be, I'll be uh, honest to sell my pick officially. I'm going to go with uh, Chris Stuff or Becky as well. I think he's gonna pull for the gold, and I think he's gonna get it. Oh, yeah. I don't think these cats are gonna be able to push him far enough. And his, I think, in terms of room to grow, yeah, figuratively and literally, this dude is getting bigger and bigger. Oh yeah, like he's, like his last total was however much he weighed. He's growing into yeah. it. every single meet. This dude is physically bigger yeah. and physically stronger. I think a lot of these other guys with the other big four 
are closer to their limits than he is. We haven't seen his full potential at 105 yet, and that's kind of scary. Oh, yeah. So I think he could conceivably do at 105 what he did at 93 for years. There's yeah. a prediction not even for this world, but even for all the worlds to come. He's going to be a hard cat to beat. Mm -hmm. um, so looking at, we just mentioned the 93s. Let's take a look at the 93s. Um, uh, I believe the defending champion, the Ukrainian cat who is like 43, yeah. He's got the name of that uh, Indian food, Guyani. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's how I remember. He's not in it no more, though. He pulled no, out, right? No, and now right. it's the young Ukrainian cat yeah. who's only behind him by a few kilo. Yeah. I mean, this dude is young as shit. I think he's a junior, and he's lifting in the open, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And, but um, who's the second in the... Yerlen Smagulov from Kazakhstan. Yerlen Smagulov from Kazakhstan. And what's his total? He is 840. And so what's Ooh. the what's the Ukrainian? 843. 840 and 843. Yeah. Like, that's nothing. That's literally, like, that's nothing. And what about third and fourth? Is there any other names that we uh, have? Two, yeah, two U.S. guys. Oh. David Ricks and Ellis McClain. Now, I heard this David yeah. Ricks guy's an up-and-comer. Uh, yeah, Pretty I good. You guys I, heard about I, I him? Think <laughs> so what do you guys think? And L.S. was on the show. Yeah. Uh, phenomenal lifter as well. What do you guys think for the 93s? And first off, let me just say... Who the fudge doesn't love that David Ricks is literally looking to hit the podium? How old is he? Like 174 he's years an M2, old? He's too, yeah. He's like, <laughs> you, guys seen, you guys seen Kill Bill? Or uh, <laughs> that one Pompey guy's like a thousand years old and he's like half legend, half man. And he's there. That's David Ricks. Oh, yeah. Except if Pompey was like a sweetheart, it was like a cuddly teddy bear. Because <laughs> god damn, does he not seem like the nicest guy oh, ever, yeah. right? But um, what are you guys expecting from the 93s? I honestly... And I was only familiar with the, the 93 kilo champ from last year. I don't know one or two this year, um, but that sounds really close. Um, Three kilo. And how far off is David Ricks? Uh, yeah, I was just about to ask, how he's far is 10, David Ricks? 830. He's only 10 kilo. So that's like the, the yeah. difference between number one and David Ricks is 13 kilo. That's nothing. Yeah. That's nothing for these guys. I'm, when you need 800s. Um, I can't, I honestly, I can't put in a prediction there. Um, I'm not familiar with what those other two guys can do. You know, that, and that's always, where, always rooting for David Ricks. And that's where, like, honestly, um, we, Instagram put, helps for scouting, yeah. right? If these cats are in Kazakhstan, Instagram's not exactly blowing up in Kazakhstan. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, and Ukraine too. So it's like it's hard to know the yeah. shit. But this, you, it, what I'll say is, I think everybody here is going to say they want David Ricks to win. That's like oh, the yeah. George Foreman of the situation, yeah. right? But um, is there anybody who wouldn't want to see David Ricks win? Probably Randy. Uh, but <laughs> but um, honestly, I think this Ukrainian kid, how old is he? What year was he born? And like, I like, don't have like it on here. Yeah. Fucking 2005 know. or something. Yeah. Um, I think the Ukrainian kid is young as shit. I yeah. think he's a junior. Yeah. And I think he's, in terms of 93s, I think he's the next big, the next big oh, yeah. You have to bank on, if the if the young kid is the leading nominating total, I think you have to bank on him because he's going to be progressing faster than any of the older guy. His total's only three kilo more, but yeah, yeah, it's true. I like Honestly, not just because he's the leading, but he's young and his progress when you're young is a lot bigger than, let's say, oh, yeah. you're old, like 174. But the thing is, David Ricks is progressing like a son of a bitch too, though. Yeah. Like, this dude is not going away. Like, is he peaking now? <laughs> I, I think, think so. he might be peaking at 60. <laughs> I think he might have started doing two sets of squat a week as opposed to one, and now he's going to make... Oh, shit! Like, that's where, like, Daniela might hit her peak in 50 fucking years. Right? That's <laughs> serious, man! Daniela's like, I, I'm probably looking to peak in 40 years, so i got to pace myself. That's the plan yeah. that Sean's got you on. A 40-year peaking process. And um, the 83s in the open, Brett looks like the runaway. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a no-brainer right 74, there. 74, though... Um, is a hell of a battle. We had uh, oh, Taylor Atwood on the show. Yeah. And um, 74, it, uh, Taylor's actually, I think he was a number one nomination, but now it's, he's number two now. Somebody yeah. bumped ahead of him, right? That guy from Norway with that 700 pound pole. So, what yeah. do you guys, for in terms of, who else is it in the 74s, like top three or four cats? But I know Taylor. Higa, Yoshihiro. He, yeah, he's the big squat. He's, uh, I think from Japan, yeah. nominated with a 270 kilo squat in the yeah. 74s. Jesus, what? It's going to depend if Taylor has a good day or not. Taylor, Taylor's it's in capable. His, in his meets, has not gone nine for nine. That, if that kid yep. goes nine for nine, he can crush these guys. He's and just, that, yeah. I mean, some of his I, some of his lifts. I mean, he's hit squats so high, he went over backwards so fast. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his misses, but he's just it's experience on the it platform. Is, it is true that like 
that's one thing about Taylor, which makes it exciting as shit. Is um, Taylor, if he hits nine for nine, he's a beast. But he very rarely hits a nine for nine. Sometimes he's he's lost the guys when he could have won it. And it'll be interesting. Yeah. Like, what do you guys think? I think if if it's going to come down, I think his deadlift. I think his deadlift's been a bit of a wild card. I think if if Taylor can go three for three on pulls, I don't I don't have any doubts he's going to go six for six. Um, but if he can go nine for nine on pulls, I think he'll run away with it. Otherwise, I think you know the guy from Norway is he's, he's built to do all three lifts. So who who was, uh, was, wasn't it a Bella, a guy from Belarus that was the defending world champ? Wasn't Taylor saying that when he was on the show? He was a uh, uh, pretty sure. He said M1. he was in his home country. I'm pretty sure he was an M1. Now, how come he's on our list? Is he an no, M1 No, because he, he walked out, and then there was another guy on right underneath out. him that backed out, too. They were both in there. Oh. So. Ah, so the defending champ isn't going to defend his title. He backed out. It's in in, in his guy. home country, which in is In his crazy. home country, too, man. It's got to be an injury. Yeah. Got to be an injury. But anyways, yeah. Thing with Taylor, though, he has, like, in the Arnolds, didn't he, like, miss a couple? If he misses a squad or a bench <laughs> or something like that, it's going to be tight. Yeah. Bench is this thing, dude. The guy's got a monster bench. He's got a big squad too. So you, 74. Oh yeah, no, he's got he's he's good all round. So you thinking Taylor shot? Uh yeah, I'm, I have my money on Taylor. That that guy brings it, you know, every meet. I've I've met him a bunch of times. I've spoken with him a bunch of times, and like he has a winner's mentality. I think that if, and I'm sure he will. Big stage. Yeah. He's ranked number two and not number one. He's gonna want to come out and go nine for nine. So well, I'm team team Atwood. What are you thinking, Danielle? You'd be staying with your American uh, number one nomination? I gotta agree with Sean. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I like I like my Norway buddy here. That that, <laughs> yeah. big, that big pole, like that was an amazing. And that's pole. you know what? Like crazy. we had Taylor on here. It's yeah. always here's the thing, man. Whenever you have someone on the show and you get to know him, you're like that, yeah. that was a nice oh, guy. Yeah. You you're always like all of a sudden you want to root <laughs> for him no matter what, and you're like I don't want him to watch the show. Me yeah. not pick him too, right? <laughs> He's a king of the list alumni. Um, but, um, and by the way, I'm picking these two to win the weight classes, um, but for real, I am. But no, honestly, if I had to say, because we were talking, the big pull, when you can chip that shit in. Yeah. And you go last. Yeah. You go last when you got the biggest pull. Yeah. Um, fuck. And the dude pulls 700 from yeah. Norway? Yeah. Because 700? Mm. Yeah. It How much? And it wasn't that hard. Seven what? Seven, 325. That's the world record of weight class up? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Taylor, I, 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 Jesus, you know I love you, but uh, I think I might go with the dead. I think I might go with that deadlift. If you can do, if you could chip that shit in and he can, how old is that dude from Norway? I don't think, he's not super old. Like he's, no, he's progressing. He's got a long time in the open still. I might go with the dead. I might go on the way to the dead, although that might be the cop out to be like, well, he'll chip it in. What do you say, Randy? <laughs> I'm taking Taylor because I think he's I think he's underrated for who he is. I just think he's had too many bad days. But he's been injured as shit. We he's got his in, story. He's, we know his story, and he's had even so injured, much shit him. coming into yeah, this yeah, yeah. that I think coming in healthy, his training looks phenomenal right now. He looks happy, content. Let, let me put like this he's coming way. into worlds to, to, to prove it. Let me put this way. I'd love to be wrong and have egg in my face because Taylor's an amazing guy. And, uh, and yeah, he is, he's gone through some shit. Like, if you've seen that episode, and I know you guys watch Faithfully, so you have. But um, <laughs> he's, he's been injured for, like, so many of his competitions yeah. and shit. And now he's going to come in here 100. Um, is there more battles 66? Is that a good battle? Oh, we'll get into a little see. bit of the women. How are you guys for time? You guys uh, okay? I think we're fine, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. We all know Fedoshenko is going to take 59, yeah. yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah, and we probably think Ray's <laughs> gonna take the heavies, and yeah. Dennis is gonna take, yeah, take one. Deep. So, yeah. like you know, that is we don't really gotta break let's, down let's, that shit. Let's pull this over here. If let's somebody beats Cornelius or Ray, it'd probably be the biggest upset. Nobody's beating Cornelius. Or I think. Ray. I think. I think. I think Dennis Cornelius is the most impressive lifter in the IPF. I'll be wow. I 100 no agree. Shit. I 100 agree with. No, that. No, Dennis. Dennis. Like honestly, I think Dennis is. Nobody's taking Dennis. No, unless he like something weird happens, bombs out because of an injury or something. Like whatever, something weird. But he's as far and away. This is the Dennis Cornelius era. If you look at the oh, rankings, yeah. this dude's running it. There's and no he's just, young just the nicest, most humble. Dude, guy. he's awesome. He's been he's been on the show and he's super duper freaking nice and humble. Doesn't talk shit. Keeps no, his chin no. down. Super nice cat. Reminds me of myself. Um, <laughs> so do you there. want to? Uh, what are we looking at? For sixty six. Hold on, oh. I was like. 
66. Yeah. 66 is basically a battle between our buddy Steve Cassioli get... and uh, Sergey from Russia. Sergey. So what do you guys think? What do, I don't know that, much about Sergey. Um, yeah, is he basically... Is that Kick? Is that Glock Kick? Uh, I think so, yeah. I just swapped the page over. He's got a name I can't pronounce. I think because he won last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. So ten- Steven, Steven, the number one nomination or no? See, second by 10 kilos. To Glock Kick? Okay. To the yeah. Russian? 670 and then Steve's at 660. Cause oh yeah, it would be because I remember McHoney. Yeah. Um, uh, dropped it. He or he did, dropped, didn't go. Didn't go, and McHoney was went up against Glad Kick and, and lost last year, and he was he was walking in there as yeah. a world record holder, thinking yeah. he's got a good shot, and he yeah. did. But Glad Kick stepped it up. Yeah. I don't know, man. Some of these Eastern Europeans, I mean, this shit's being held in Eastern yeah. Europe. They're gonna they're gonna bring it. They're yeah. gonna bring that it hard. Exactly. It's not in the U.S. Who do you guys think? You think that the Canadian boy is gonna take it? Or you think we're gonna see the Russian? Honestly, I mean, I really, really like Steven. Um, I think if he puts it all together, he'll have a solid meet, but I got to go with, with, uh, a Russian with the Russian. Mother Russia. Mother yeah. Russia. From Russia with love. Yeah. What are you saying, Daniela? Is it going to be the Canadian kid? The good-looking Canadian <laughs> kid? Or is it going to be the... Or is it gonna be the right what's that? That's a handsome man with a great haircut. He's a handsome yeah. man. What do, you, what do you think? It's like the 72 Summit Series. Uh, you guys probably aren't big on Canadian history with hockey, but we kicked the shit out of him 72 for this hockey tournament. Anyways, you guys are like, <laughs> what the fuck? Who cares? <laughs> this is typical Canadian shit right here. But um, what do you think? Is it Canada or is it Russia for the 66, Daniela? I'm going to go Canada. Yeah, buddy! And they were both wearing Team Canada jackets. Yeah. You know what? Um, I see where Sean's coming from because... Oh, no. This dude is basically yeah. in his hometown. Yeah. He's eating hometown yeah. foods Steve's in terms of gonna like Russia. In. He's going to have jet lag. Steve's like, flying over, yeah. and, and, and the dude is just like a hop step, step yeah. skipping away. Um, Clack kicks, he, he seems to turn it on when it comes to the world. Like previously, yeah. he, was, he was previously walking in into the underdog to make honey. Yeah. And he surprised Mick Honey. Yeah. And Mick Honey, I talked, Mick Honey actually did commentating with me. Um, and Mick Honey's like, shit, man, this dude came out. Like I, was, yeah. I thought I might have had that wrapped up. So, but. Man, how am I going to go against Canada? No, exactly, you can't. I think I'm going to throw it down for Team Canada. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, i got to go with my man Steve. Like, he can put it together. Really? He's going to put it together. Yeah, that's Casca Rolling. You think so? Yeah, for sure. The, the uh, Arnold Classic champion? Yeah, it's... I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. I know, I know. Hey, same thing with me with Taylor. I know you mean, but Glackick, look, if I'm going to be honest, Glackick, he's number one for a reason. He's we need, go, we need the gold in the open. Yeah. Yeah, it just we doesn't need happen. One. We Can, need one. Canada gets so many golds for yeah. for youth and for age, but yeah. never for the open. Like, yeah. Okay, so let's bring this into the women's. Yeah. Straight off the bat, um, and we'll rip through this real quick because I know we're chewing up a lot of you guys' time. Yeah. You guys been on this for a while, but um, I think Canada's got the best chance for gold with Maria T. Yeah. Uh, fifty-seven yeah. kilo, and she's absolutely freaking killing it for a fifty-seven kilo. This is our best chance she's to win a gold huge. in the open. Is yeah. Maria T. Yeah. I think she's our she, only number one she, nomination. She, she, and I think Marie, I'm going to pick Marie T in that yeah. battle. Yeah. Everybody on board with that? Yeah. What's the, what's the battles in the women's? I know sure um, she is not the 84 kilo junior. No. Um, <laughs> 47. What what asshole is betting on the second <laughs> fucking nomination? Like, I'm putting all in. I wanna, there's a lot of money. <laughs> Nobody. So what's what's the big battles in the women's? 63 kilo? No, that's Jen Thompson. No, it's going to be the, yeah. the big one's going Jen to be. Jen Thompson's not go. Oh yeah. yeah she's no, no, what's sixty-three the, kilo? The big one's is Weisenberg and uh, yeah, seventy-two. Yeah, seventy-two. It's going so to be. So who's going to win the battle seventy-two? You know, I'm. Oh, uh, seventy-two, Walford. Yeah. Walford. But honestly, it's like I think Walford still is not ready to be taken. No. Uh, I, I like. I think Weisenberg's catching up. And Weisberg's phenomenal, and she's, eventually, I, I th- I think she's young. It's going to be interesting to see. I just think in this competition, she's going to bring something, and I think it's going to be. She, I think I think it's going to be a lot closer than what she trains like is. a fucking fighter. You seen her Instagram videos? She chipped her tooth dead she in goes, or some shit. She goes RP ten every day. I know, yeah. dude. I was saying that <laughs> she goes RP ten every day. I was telling my girlfriend the other day, like, how does she not burn out? Like she's like fighting, son of a bitch, and like every single rap man every day. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. No. I love watching the Instagram. That's why she's. I think, I think uh, there's somebody else in the seventy twos, right? It's, so we have you have Isabella, you have Kim Walford. The there's other, someone nominated man? above Isabella, right? Who do you got? Did you see it? Yeah, the, the second is uh, Anna Castellan from yeah. Brazil. Oh, yo, yeah, shit! Yeah. Well, let's not blow. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of a big omission yeah. when Anna's in there. So, 
Oh, fuck. My bet, my bet is that, that Kim will win, but not by a lot. I think that Kim is a savage, and I think that she is, you know, she still has her time up there, but I think that uh, I think that with the way progress is going with Isabella and the way progress is going with Anna Castellan, I think that uh, I think Anna might might give her a run for her money. I still have my my, my bets are on Kim, mm-hmm. but uh, I think it's going to be a lot closer than people probably will anticipate. I think honestly, I'm going to say straight up, like because of um, age differences, etc. I think. I think Isabella is progressing at a much quicker rate than than Kim. Kim's kind of chipping in PRs mm-hmm. here and there. Eventually, yeah. she's in her twenties, and uh, Kim's pushing forty. Eventually, uh, you know, in it, or Isabella's going to have her day, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's going to be this world. I yeah. mean, and I look, look, I think she's she could be the future. You never, you know, but I don't think it's not yet. Yeah, not yet. I think I think Kim still takes this one. What do you think, Randy? I'm putting it on Isabella. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It doesn't hurt that she's easy in the eyes, eh, but I just, uh, I think, I th- it depends on how she, what she does in her attempts, but her subtotal is so good, and her deadlift is moving. She's nowhere near no, Walford. Yeah, dead, she's nowhere near Walford's deadlift. But her dead but, is, her but, dead but is. That, her subtotal is scary. Like, or squat. She squats. Like, she's, she's a beast with the yeah. squats. Yeah. What do you think, Goldie? Anna's got that big bench. You know, I'm a bench guy. You know what? Everyone's got, always got a soft spot for big benchers. So yeah, so you think it, Anna? Yeah, where can wow. you go, Anna? She's one and a half times, and she's yeah. seasoned like a motherfucker too. Mm-hmm. She's been around the block. I mean, if you, if anyone seriously watched the YouTube of her winning the eighty-four women's open last year, dude, she was literally she missed her second straight up, not strong enough. And then they were like, "What are you gonna do for your third? She's like, "Load up enough for the win." But you just missed a much less weight on your second. Yeah. Load it up for the win. <laughs> I don't need to say it twice. We're going for gold. And damn, if she didn't funky yeah. chicken dance that way right up to lockout. Oh, yeah. like her hips shook like Elvis in his prime, and she locked it out. And it was like, oh, like it was amazing. Oh, it yeah. might have been the best showdown for the women I'd seen. Yeah. So look for Anna, or, yeah, or sorry, uh, look for, yeah, Anna Rosa to, like, come for that yeah, fight. Yeah, she's bringing it. We'll see. And uh, is there any other battles in the women's? Do you guys know any other battles? Um... Because Bonnie is going to yeah, run it. Yeah. Uh, most of them are run it. What about 60, 63? Is there a battle without Jen there? Kind of sucks Jen's not in there. Yeah, there's a Russian and a Slovakian that wow. are like six kilos apart. You guys even know who they are? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll do my research. I got to commentate, dude. Yeah. So I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do my research by the time that rolls around. Yeah. It's just the Instagram. Oh, yeah, and no, if you're exactly. not on Instagram, it's hard. Yeah, we don't right? know who you are, yeah. Um, so, and then there's so many weight classes. Yeah. Is there anyone else in there that you're thinking? Uh, or 50? Wait a second. 52. Loft. 52? Sophia Loft. Sophia Loft isn't lifting? No, and the yeah. 52, the returning champ, Sophia's not lifting, and she's actually yeah. just posted a fucking 400 yeah, pound squat. I saw that. By the way, so in 2018, watch it. We reposted that shit right quick. <laughs> but um, 52 women's, uh, it's Maria? No, or Marissa Linda? Yeah. And Liz Craven, yeah. which are two masters women, yeah. in the open. stand in the open, and they look like we're going to have a battle in the 52s. Who do you guys think? Now, you guys are going to be a little biased because you're American. But who do you guys think win between in the 52s? Oh, that's tough. What are the, what are the nominating totals? Yeah, I'm familiar with both of them. I'm just curious. Both, about you know what? Yeah. It's, they almost the same situation as the 105s. Yeah. They pass back and forth that fucking yeah. world record. What, what are the totals? So Marissa is 430. Liz Craven is... 418.5, and then Olga Golubiva from Russia is 418.0. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, the Russian actually, it's the world, yeah, yeah, the Russian actually is right the hell up there as well. Yeah. I don't know, you know, I don't know what you guys think. I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> I like to go last. <laughs> Just in case you guys make a good point and I can swing my boat. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? Who are you picking? I got Marissa. Yeah. Wow, that was quick, man. That was no- <laughs> yeah, yeah, blah blah. Versus- I've, I've oh, seen, I've seen both of their lifting. I think that uh, I don't know. I think Marissa is just too strong all around. She's too strong on all three lifts to uh, to give it up. Obviously, Liz has that big squat, but um, I give it to Marissa. Goldie. Yeah, again, it probably is Marissa. Again, Marissa she, too? she's just being solid. She's been solid. And Mar- Marissa was on the show as yeah. well, and she's uh, like a f- like personality oh, yeah. wise, like her as a world champion is. She was on Ellen for God's sake, yeah. man. <laughs> and like she, like if you talk to her, she's got a wicked personality, yeah. funny as shit, charismatic. So her 
you want your world champions to be like that because yeah. like, like a Brett Gibbs runs the social media, kind of helps the whole sport as a whole. Mm -hmm. For the greater good, she's got to win, right? Is that what I'm saying? I don't know. But not Liz is a, a sweetheart. What do you think? It's Enda. It's Enda? Yeah. You think it's her time? Yeah, I just, I don't see, Craven, she's strong. I mean, she's right there with her, but I just, I think Marissa will just keep doing what she needs to do. She does it every time. No matter what it is, it's load the bar. I'm going for the win. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, you know what? I think um, the last time they battled, they both faced off the Arnolds, did they not? And, and Inda took it. They are both there, yes. right? They are both at the Arnolds. Yes. I think it's going to be a repeat, and I think Marissa's going to take it as well, and we're going to see Marissa Inda as the world champion. And then I think Ellen is going to have her back on that fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? And then I think fucking uh, whoever, who's a talk show? I don't even watch talk shows. <laughs> well, hopefully she yeah. comes back on our show. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll talk about it and talk about her experience. I think Marissa Indy takes it. And then last, is there anybody else who you guys picking? Last one, you guys picking to be best lifter, both men and women? Last one, last picks. <laughs> who you guys think? You know what the men's is either going to be Fedoshenko, yeah. Dennis Cornelius, or Ray Williams. Real quick. Who are you guys picking? Or, or picking. Sean Noriega? <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> I think uh, I think with the way the formula works out, it, I don't think it could be Cornelius, unfortunately. I think it's either going to be Ray or uh, Fedoshenko. Um, you got a million dollars and you got to bet it. Who are you betting on? I'm, I'm putting my money on Fedoshenko. Like, it's Ooh. just... Yeah. Okay. I think... Listen, I think... I think it's the it's the way the formula works. I think that Ray will probably PR his squat by a lot, but I don't think that uh, it'll be enough to out Wilkes Sergey. So what do you think, of Daniela? <laughs> I'm going Ray. That a girl. Okay, keeping it American, my man. What do you think? I don't know. Did you guys see that bench that Sergey posted? That 180 for like a double? Yeah. Did we repost it? Yeah. Was it raw? Yeah. What? Yep. In a T-shirt? Yeah. He, like he's, he's like hitting around 400 for a double. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, fuck Fedoshenko. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my he's goodness. like 100 fucking pounds. Yeah. Of he's like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. Gee, and he's, he's so like small and adorable yeah. the way he looks. He looks like a like a cabbage patch dog. So, <laughs> so potentially the one of them could officially, I think, would break 600 raw, isn't it? Because nobody's... We would be looking at 600 Wilkes. Yeah. yeah cause we got he's right he's a pretty post over six, yeah. Okay, well there you go. So what do you think? Has he has he raw though? I thought he only did that equipped. Has he raw? Um, I think I'm. Last I'm not one. sure. I, th I think he has. I think he has. I could be wrong, but I think if he hasn't, he's going to win. Yeah. Has. I think I think maybe maybe a couple of them will. <clears throat> if you, I he's, at... he's hit he's hit everything comfortably in meets. So like, coming into worlds, he has so much room for for attempt selections. I've yeah. never seen him struggle. It's because he, I mean, in all due respect, everyone else in this field, nobody's yeah. pushing him to struggle, right? It's not like he's got to pull a big one for the win ever. But, it, like, his main competition is right. He's looking ahead for the Wilkes. So what were you thinking? I'm actually going to go Cornelius. Oh, shit. I think Cornelius has a chance of doing it this year. You think so, right? Yep. Well, Cornelius Wilkes, 594. It's not like he's out of the discussion. He has a Wilkes Ray before. Actually, you know what? He, out -rakes, he did out Wilkes Ray. That's true. He has before. Fuck. And Cornelius I mean, I, in training right now. I mean, unless I don't know, Tanya Harding shows up. I that guy. I don't think like I'm a huge. Guy's... I'm a huge Dennis Cornelius fan. I love Dennis Cornelius. Oh. Fucking uh, first four. He's probably going to do the first four hundred kg squat. One twenty for one twenty. He'll probably. Yeah, he wants to get the first four hundred kilo kg or uh, for in the one twenties. I think. I think honestly. I think. God damn. I think. Uh, they're all in the running for a 600. That's what's crazy. Yeah, I think, okay, here's the prediction. I think two out of the three at least are going to go over 600, possibly all three over 600, because Dennis Cornelius is already 594, so we can see all top three over 600. And I, I think, I think, I think, God damn it. Fuck it. I'm going to say Dennis Cornelius. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to say Dennis Cornelius. <laughs> there it is. I threw it out there. We got it, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Is there anyone you guys want to thank? Any sponsors? Thanks. This is a super long ass show. We might even chop yeah. it in two to have an IPF Worlds preview, and then we'll do your stories afterwards. We probably haven't even hit up all your stories. We had to be somewhat abbreviated. Sorry. <laughs> but any yeah. sponsors you guys want to thank? Uh, well, we're both sponsored by SBD right now, so we want to thank SBD for sponsoring us and hooking us up with 
with some gear. I think we're going to be getting a USA custom singlets pretty soon for nice. Worlds, so that'd be pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah. And uh, and you guys must be open for sponsorships if that's it, because you guys damn well should be sponsored. You guys are the future.